The following trailer is rated H for honest. From a studio that isn't afraid to ruin their most popular properties and the long-running franchise about really bad neighborhoods comes a new chapter in murdering your ass until you like it. Resident Evil 7. Return to one of Capcom's most storied franchises that went from 10 survival horror to dumb fun action to just plain dumb. Now, experience yet another series reboot as you shoot zombies, pick up herbs, and slowly open doors, but this time in first person. Enter a literal residence of evil and take over the disembodied hands of Ethan Winters, a husband searching for his wife in the world's creepiest house without calling the cops first. In the most Silent Hill-ass plotline imaginable, as Ethan is kidnapped by a bunch of extras from a Rob Zombie movie and forced to find a cure for their serious mold problem in what has to be the roughest day he has ever had in his life. <laughs> I want a divorce. Thrill as Capcom combines the series' classic gameplay with every horror trope they can get their hands on, like the creepy house from P.T., antagonists from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, elaborate death puzzles from Saw, the little girl from Fear, and the jump scares from every modern horror thing. As you fumble around the dimly lit rooms of the Baker Mansion, while everything and everyone gets way too f***ing close to your face. Seriously, don't play this game in VR unless you've got a very strong sphincter. Trust me. Prepare to squeal like a small child as RE7's opening leaves you weaponless, alone, and in the dark. Pitted against immortal enemies that are constantly searching for you as you creep through the house, afraid of turning every corner. Until you get a shotgun. Then throw all that carefully built tension out the window as the game suddenly becomes Resident Evil again instead of Clock Tower. Let's smash some zombies, nerds! Revel in some RE nostalgia, full of throwbacks to the classic franchise, like fancy doors with overly complicated locks, grenade launchers just kinda lying around, really vague scary science, mashing up houseplants to make healing items, loose connections back to the franchise as a whole that we're not gonna tell you, no, do spoilers. and the most important feature of all, item management. Oh yeah. Now this is the Resident Evil I remember. So click on that flashlight, reattach your foot with that good, good healing juice, and enjoy a surprisingly solid horror experience, and hopefully a brand new start for the franchise. Because as bright of a beginning as this seems, they'll f*** it up eventually. <laughs> Starring Master Hands, Bilbo Baggins, Here's John, Spider Mom, Hillbilly Jigsaw, Winona Ryder, Ringu, Granny Creeper, definitely lost in security deposit, and Carl Winslow. The Herbs Have Eyes 7. Do you know that the Japanese version is called Biohazard 7 Resident Evil? You're adorable, Capcom. Be sure to subscribe for more honest game trailers and tell me what you'd like to hear me say in my awesome voice. I'm supposed to be playing a game of war, but this one player keeps kicking my ass. I pre-ordered No Man's Sky, Kawaii in the Streets, Senpai in the Sheets. I'm a pretty, pretty princess. Can't let you brew that Starbucks.